All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It is a hot, muggy, ugly day here in New Orleans. It just stopped raining, so just enough time. I'm gonna try and get these mods on. Hopefully it doesn't rain. I'd like to wash the bike. Can't ride the bike, it's raining. If you guys wanna see some videos of the bike, let me know, because we do ride, we ride all the time. But we already do some mods, so we have beautiful Lilith here. We have my beautiful car here, it is filthy. Guys, as you can see, I mean, the driveway is still flooded from the rain, so. All right, here we go. Got the workstation set up. So today we're going to be putting on some white letterings, but not your typical ones. I saw these online. Uh, this is the guy's information, what it's worth, LLC. Comes packaged really, really nice. Let's see what we got, adhesive side, very sticky, do not touch. Clean, splitter. Wow, <laughs> you know, I've, I've done these before with the uh, the regular vinyls and you have to sit there and put them all in. I mean, that just slaps right in there. So let's go ahead and get the next one out. And there you go. Last one's off. Man, I like those. They're not vinyl. I, I'm not sure the material, but it's like a type of plastic, maybe an acrylic. And I mean, look at those. And they've got, they're raised really nice, like not too tacky, but look at that. I like it. And it was simple. And not to mention, it's so much cheaper than buying the actual uh, vinyl letters. I mean, you, you guys literally saw, I mean, besides time-lapse, that, that took me maybe five minutes. So these are the ones for coil covers on the engine. We're gonna go ahead and knock those out today too. All right. So all we should have to remove on this side is this clamp right here, which is real, real simple. Yeah, you just take that down, that comes right off. That's the only thing blocking that. It just pops off, slowly slide it out. There you go, there's side number one. Side number two is basically identical, but it's just that one little thing right there is all we're removing. So you just take that, slide that down. That's it, that pops right off. Grab it, look at that, comes right out one hand. I would put this back on and latch these back down just so no dirt or anything gets into those. And there we go. So now we got both of them, let's go inside. So before we get started, let's go ahead and get these cleaned up real quick. Uh, driver's side, which is <laughs> not the driver's side. So let's get the passenger side. <laughs> I really like how the guy wraps everything. I really like how he labels it so you know it's really good. You know, just time that he puts it. She'll clean that up later. Okay, here we go. There's a little part right there. So get that around. There we go. Passenger side. And wow, look at that. I see some of them are already falling out. So if they do, I'm just gonna kind of put them where they belong. That way they don't get mixed up. I'm not sure if that makes a difference, but I don't know. Also, some are adhesive sides, some are not. You're probably just gonna pop them all out, to be honest with you. Let's just, let's just pop them all out. Also, he does any color you want. I've seen purple, red. I went with the white because I'm gonna stay with the theme of the blue and white on the car. That's so easy. <laughs> uh, I've, I've done these before on a vehicle. Anybody uh, who has ever tried putting vinyls on these uh, can attest to how hard it is. Oh, 
sweet. So there you go. That looks absolutely awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and do the second one. And it should be a lot easier. We'll just go ahead and let's touch it to the other ones. Let me just transfer over that power. Here we go. And there it is. Man, check that out. Okay, look at that. I mean, it is, it was so easy to do. It's cut so perfect. Now, on this D right here, you kind of see it didn't go all the way in. But I just can't get that one D pushed in there. And I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to push in the D. <laughs> ah! I'm going to try it again later or, or before I put in the car, just push it in. But look how amazing they came out. I was just going to add this to one of my videos, but I'm going to I'm gonna do this video just for this guy here because, man, it looks amazing. The easiest way to get in contact with him is on Facebook. And let me tell you this, not only is this work just absolutely phenomenal, the price, it was like 80 bucks. I mean, not expensive at all, but that was for this and the splitters. But he sent it out like the next day. Like I literally got this like two days after I ordered it. So let's get this stuff on the car, man. I'm excited to see how it looks. Let's go. So these are basically gonna install the same way they came off. So we'll set that one down there. And remember what I told you, the front, the whole coast of the front. So, and before anybody says anything, I know it's the engine's dirty. It's a daily driver. Um, it's been raining and storming the last couple of days. So I didn't have a chance. So we're gonna pull this off nice and easy. It just goes right up. It's real easy. Get in there and you'll feel it. Oh, I mean, it don't get no simpler than that. You'll hear that lock back on there. And basically the same thing with this side. So we'll pull this off nice and easy. Take the cap off. Put that in there. Nice and easy. Make sure clamps get through that. Perfect. All right, I know it's sunny out here, but man, those look so badass. I love it. I'm gonna take some pictures. Look at the front. Look at Snazzy. Your boy, loving it. I know, I'm a hot mess. It, it's just stopped raining. It's muggy out here. The Louisiana humidity is killing me. But man, those look really, really good. And those look really, really good on the engine bay. I am really impressed with the work that he did. And I'm very impressed with the, the, I mean, the quality and how fast it got out to me. Like literally, um, I, I had to check it, but I believe I ordered it, I, I don't know, like, like three days ago at the most. And it's already here installed in my car. So huge shout out to him. I will link his Facebook page so you guys can contact him. Last thing, sorry it's a short video. I had some other mods I was going to install, uh, but some arrived damaged, of course, so I can't use those. But we do have plenty of stuff coming to the channel. I definitely appreciate everything. Uh, all you guys' comments, descriptions, everything helps out. So please make sure to smash that like button, subscribe. And if you guys have anything in particular you want to see, hey man, just hit me up. Let me know. Any kind of mods you want to see put on the car, message me. You guys have a great day. Peace.